Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids, and I thought it'd be great fun in this video to sit here and chat to you about my three current smartphones. And that is the Apple iPhone 5S, the Google Nexus 5, and the Nokia Lumia 1020. But before I do so, I'm happy to tell you that this video is made possible by Hotspot Shield. And I've been the geek ambassador for Hotspot Shield for some time now, and I want to play you a short video that will introduce you to their services. Whenever you connect to public Wi-Fi networks, you expose yourself to potential hacker or snooper attacks. This can cost you your usernames, passwords, and even your credit card details. In fact, most cases of identity theft occur on public Wi-Fi networks. Introducing Hotspot Shield. Hotspot Shield protects you from identity theft on public Wi-Fi networks by securing your connection connection using HTTPS encryption. Download Hotspot Shield today on PC, Mac, iPhone, iPad and Android. So what Hotspot Shield allows you to do is install an application on either your laptop or perhaps a desktop or a smartphone or tablet device and then you can do various things with it. Now the first thing is you can actually protect your IP address so you can actually surf the web anonymously. The next thing you can do is if perhaps you're in a country where certain websites are blocked or VoIP calls are blocked and things like uh, Twitter, Facebook uh, and other social networks and YouTube are sometimes blocked in some countries, well you can use the Hotspot Shield VPN to actually access these websites. So that's a really great feature. The software also protects you against malware. So that's things like phishing and spam sites and also malicious websites too. And then you've got something that's called Wi-Fi security. So if you're using perhaps a Wi-Fi public hotspot, you can actually protect yourself against data theft. Now there are a lot of features that I haven't talked to you about, but one of the things I do want to mention is that it also offers up HTTPS encryption. So if you're doing something like online shopping or entering personal information online, it gives you an extra level of protection. Now there is a free download available and there's also an elite version. So please do check out the links in the video description. So on with the rest of this video and what this video is all about is my smartphones. And here we've got my red Nexus 5 sitting off to the right of me here. And then on my left, I've got my iPhone 5S. And then a new addition to my smartphones, and the first one I want to show you is this. This is the Nokia Lumia 1020. Now, just so you know how I'm going to structure this video, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about each smartphone in turn and what I really find as the sort of downsides, but also the merits of the smartphone. Now, first of all, this is the Lumia 1020. So this was something that I reviewed back on the channel all oh, two, maybe three months ago, maybe even longer than that. And I was so impressed with it that I actually got my wallet out and my debit card and purchased one for myself. And I went for the white version. Now, the reason I purchased this was because I do love the Windows Phone platform. I think it's still evolving. And by that, I mean, we're still lacking some applications and developers aren't devoting as much time to this platform as they are the other two platforms, iOS and Android but it is getting better on a daily or weekly basis. We are finding more and more apps. And the interface is very, very fluid. I do like that. I love the fact that even on like a dual core processor phone like this one, you do get a good turn of speed. So very, very good performance. Now, my love of photography is what led me to this phone. I could have purchased a Nokia Lumia 1520, which is a larger screen. It's also got a 1920 by 1080 resolution. This is a lower resolution screen. And the 1520 is a newer smartphone, but I wanted something a little bit more compact. And this offers up this, a 41 megapixel smartphone camera. And the quality of the photos that this produces is absolutely fantastic. And I mean really fantastic. Now, it does this sort of thing that Nokia are branding Zoom reinvented. And what that means is you can actually compose a shot and then when you uh, zoom in and take that shot, after the event, you can then zoom back out and refocus 
on another subject that was in the original frame. I think that is really, really fantastic. And it really does work. The amount of detail that this captures when you're taking photos is phenomenal. And that's one of the main features that I purchased this for. Now, yes, there are some downsides, the lack of apps, uh, but the battery life, everything else, the build quality, absolutely awesome. I'm also doing a test where I'm using this to capture video as well. And I also purchased this, I must show you this, this is the official camera grip and you slot the smartphone into the camera grip and there's a little sort of charging bit on the bottom there. This has got a battery built in so it will boost the battery life on your smartphone. It's also got a tripod mount on one side and it's also got a proper shutter button on the top here and it just makes it a really nice package. So this inside this case, not only you get an extended battery life but you're also getting a, a nice grip and it makes it feel more camera-like. And that's what I purchased this for. So this is the Lumia 1020. I think it's fantastic. Not everyone's cup of tea, but I absolutely love it. I really, really do. So moving on, we have got this smartphone here. And this is the uh, Google Nexus 5. Now, I went for the red edition. I didn't get this in when it first came out. It's available in black and white as well. Excuse me, itching my nose. Got a very itchy nose today. I think it's hay fever season, put it that way. So this is a, a really nice phone, nice large screen. Uh, runs the latest version of Google Android, 4.4 KitKat at the time of recording this video. A uh, very slim line design. I like the striking red color. This is what drew me to this phone was the fact that it was a really bright red. I'm wearing an orange jumper at the moment and this is such a bright red. It's almost like a cerise pink red. It's, it's definitely got that sort of edge to it. Uh, but the features on this that really uh, drew me to it, apart from the color, were the quad core processor. So the performance is very good. It's got a really nice screen, 1920 by 1080 and also uh, it's very, very comfortable to hold. I do find this very, very comfortable for a larger screen smartphone. The camera is acceptable. It's not fantastic. It's okay, perfectly adequate for photos. Uh, okay for video as well. Again, not fantastic, it's just okay. And um, it just works extremely well. I think this is a really good smartphone. Now, the Google Play Store, uh, if you go back maybe, I don't know, three or four years, maybe something like that, it was lacking a little bit. But nowadays, the uh, selection of apps equals what we get on the iOS platform. So this is a, a match for sort of um, uh, app selection when, when you're choosing a smartphone. User experience, almost as good as iOS. This is just coming from my personal opinion. Now, some of you will prefer the Google Android platform. Uh, so there's not a right or wrong opinion in this. I'm just saying that this is almost the same experience for me as iOS. Uh, just not quite as elegant. That's all I'm going to say. I, I just don't find it quite as intuitive. But it does everything I want it to. All the apps that I use are on here. My banking app, YouTube app, my email, my security apps, my social networking apps, Instagram, which I use a lot. Everything I want is on here. And it's a really nice device. I wish the iPhone 5S had a bigger screen and I hope they introduce a bigger screen with the iPhone 6 because I do like this sort of size screen. I think it's really nice and the resolution for this size screen is perfect. So this is the Google Nexus 5. Very, very good smartphone. If the iPhone 5S wasn't available and wasn't my daily driver, I would have a hard job choosing between this and the Lumia 1020. Very, very hard choice to make. So this is the Nexus 5, so let me just pop that back down. And then I've saved my daily driver, that people like to call it until last. This is the iPhone 5S. Now I've got the sort of silver white version. Uh, I've used an iPhone pretty much from when they first came out. I had the very first generation iPhone. And this is such a powerful little tiny device. In fact, all of them are like having a tiny handheld computer. Uh, that easily fits into your pocket. So this is really great. I could actually uh, do all, all of what I do just on this device. I get asked this a lot. If you could only have one piece of technology, Dave, out of all of the gadgets you've got, what would you choose? And it would be this. And I'll tell you why. It's because I can do my emails on this. I can do my video production on this. I can edit a video. I can upload it to YouTube, which is what I do on a daily basis. 
uh, not using this device, but if I was tied down to just this one device, I could quite easily do that. Uh, the quality of the video is really good. The quality of the photos it produces is fantastic. And the operating system and the way everything works is just very, very fluid and very elegant. And it does what I want it to do. And it does it easily and it does it very classily and it does it with ease. And that's why I sort of rate iOS a little bit more uh, user friendly than Google Android. Um, I just like, it's just what I work within. I work within the Apple ecosystem. I have a Mac Pro, I have a Mac Mini, I have a MacBook Pro, I have an iPad, so everything works seamlessly together. And that's why this draws me in as being my daily phone over and above the other two phones I've shown you today. Uh, but that's not to say these other two aren't good. They're all fantastic in their own right. Uh, just to let you know that I've got loads and loads of apps on here. I do play sort of casual games on here. I use this for Instagram. I use this for my email. I use this for my social networking. Um, I use it for Instagram a lot, but I am finding that I do use my Lumia 1020 for Instagram quite a lot at the moment as well, purely because the camera on this far outperforms the camera on the iPhone 5S. And now that said, just to come back to the Nexus 5, out of these two, um, the Nexus 5, I far prefer the screen size and the feel of this in my hand. So I prefer the, the screen size and the feel of this over the iPhone 5S. Uh, but what draws me back to the 5S is just the ecosystem every single time. And I suppose it all comes down to what you're used to. Um, if I was living within an Android world and I had an Android tablet, uh, maybe a Windows based PC or a Mac, it works just as well with a Mac, then maybe that would be my platform of choice. But for now, it's the, the iPhone 5S, but I love them all. Just to uh, recap, this is the Nexus 5, absolutely love it. This is the iPhone 5S, I'm waffling, aren't I? And this is the Lumia 1020, awesome camera. If you're a photographer, this is the choice. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. It just gives you a little bit of an insight into how I feel about all of the platforms. And as I say, there's no right or wrong one to choose. Uh, get something uh, in your hand, go into a uh, sort of mobile phone store, play around with the operating systems if you haven't experienced any of them before, and just see which one feels more elegant and fluid to you, and which one you think you would like to uh, use on a daily basis, which one's easy to launch apps, which one works with the other devices that you've got, and that will make choosing a smartphone a lot easier for you. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much for sticking with me all the way through to the end. If you've enjoyed it, hit that like button. Let me know what smartphone you have as well. Do you have a Windows phone? Do you have an iOS device? Or do you have a Google Android phone? And let me know which one it is and why you chose it. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. If you wanna see another video of mine, please do click the annotation on the top of your screen now. And also, you can click the annotation on the bottom of your screen and subscribe to the Geekanoids channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all again next time.